Hey y'all, thank you very much for tuning in to another episode of SC Gaming Avenger. I hope you guys have a most excellent day. It's currently 6am, uh, hence the bed here, and I figured I would record for you a nice little video before I go to work, and that is an unboxing of the Battletech Clan Firestar. Let's get that in close for you guys to have a look at. Check that out. Um, and this is one of my absolute favourite stars that you can get for the clan. Some absolute bangers in here. Um, so I figured I'd open this up for you guys, show you the mechs, have a little talk about them. Um, so without any further waffling, let's get this box open. So we have my trusty multi-tool, just slip it in here, slice some tape, and get this box open. And as always, we have the Alpha Strike cards, pilot cards with all the special abilities and all those kind of things. So I'll just put those over there for the moment, and then slide out these mechs you to have a look at now i have noticed that the clan boxes the art in the back is different to the inner sphere boxes which is pretty cool um i do really love the art that comes in these boxes it is really stunning uh so enough uh blithering on about the boxes let's have a look at the mechs themselves and we will start with this tiny little fella the fire moth let's bring him in close for you guys to have a look at so there is the fire moth now I've got him focused for you guys. Take a look at that. Now, he weirds me out because uh, his arms are so bizarre. They're like upside down arms. And that's not a error with the production of this. That is the actual design of the Fire Moth. Also known as the Dasher to us Inner Sphere types. Um, I think it's like a 20 or 25 ton tiny little mech. Um, and this thing is obscene uh, in that you know how, you know, they, they give some mechs like a little gimmick or, you know, like a little ability. Well, this one is that it is stupidly quick, stupidly fast. I mean, it's already got 10, 16 movement right out the gate. Um, but then some madman thought, we're going to put mask on that thing. Now, if you know, mask is uh, a piece of equipment where you roll... Uh, essentially a pilot in check uh, and on a 3 plus for the first turn it's fine and then I think it's like a 5 plus on the second turn and so on and so forth um, but if you fail the check then the damn thing falls over and does like actuate a damage to itself um, but it increases the speed to double its walking speed so it's like this thing then goes from 10, 16 to 20 movement uh, which is pretty much enough to get from one side of the map to the other. I mean, that'll take you from just inside long range missile range to right up into the enemy's face, turn one. Uh, and it is an Omni mech as well, so you can just kind of tag a point of elementals on, I believe. Just run up into the enemy's face and drop them off. Uh, it doesn't have much in the way of armament uh, or armor, but then speed is its armor. If any of you have ever played the old mech warrior back in the day, where you were running around in fleas and stuff and using the lag as your armor, that's this thing's stick. Um, and the actual sculpt is actually really nice. I really like that sculpt. That is really nice. Um, <laughs> the legs have got a definite swagger to, the, to them. It does look like he's strutting happily across the battlefield, which is pretty cool. So that's a really cool mech. Next up, we will have a look at the Kit Fox. Um, or the other, depending on if you're a clan or in a sphere. And I think it's a bit of an ugly mech, personally. Um, but it's that kind of cool kind of ugliness. Kind of like how the A10 Warthog is ugly but beautiful. Um, that's how I feel about this mech. And check that sculpt down. Let's bring it around for the back for you guys to have a look at. That is one of those mechs... Um, Loadouts are a bit weird. I mean, it's six nine movement, and some of the loadouts have got like a Gauss rifle or a bunch of LRMs or PPCs, and not much else. It is very much um, a chip away at the enemy from long range kind of mech, but it is actually quite a nice mech, um, and I am looking forward to getting that onto the battlefield. I I really like that sculpt. It's it's a really cool little mech. Um, it's nothing special as far as clan mechs go is like a budget shadow cat at the end of the day but is a really nice mech so next mech up is one that always amused me and that is the cougar okay so we got that into focus you guys the cougar amuses me because it is a light mech half the weight of a catapult 
and pretty much the same armament. Um, two LOM-15s and two ER large lasers on the Prime variant, and then other variants have got like two LOM-20s with Artemis, by the way, Artemis 4, um, and then two ER medium lasers, and it's got like, you know, really decent movement for a mech that arm to the teeth. I mean, this thing is obscene. Half the weight of a catapult, same armament. I mean, as my mate Gawain pointed out, it does pay for it in the battle value, and it's not got anywhere near as thick an armor. But it's it's just crazy the amount of firepower you can bring on a clan mech. And the Cougar um, is one of my favorites for that because this thing, it it's a classic. It's a mech that everyone has played with at some point in one of the computer games. Um, and I'm actually looking forward to trying this out on the tabletop. I've never actually used it on the tabletop myself. Um, so yeah, that is the Cougar. That is a really cool mech. And the sculpt for this is next level. I mean, look at the detail they've gone to on the back of this thing. And while we're mentioning firepower, um, this pack also comes with the Nova Cat. Okay, so that is uh, the Nova Cat. Now this into focus. It is, I think it's either 70 or 75 tons. It is a clan mech. And the base profile comes with two ERPBCs and three ER large lasers, and not quite enough heat sinks to use them all at once. Um, but it's a good solid mech. But it's some of the other variants that really stand out to me. Um, because some of the variants is like, we're talking about firepower, there is a version of this with six LRM 15s. Six of them. And enough heat sinks to use them all every single turn while running and not overheat. That is just obscene. Yeah, that, that's three catapults running around together. You know, clan mechs, they really do bring the firepower when they need to. And, I, and I, okay, it pays for it again in the battle value and the fact that it's just one mech with just one mech's armor. So, you know, against three catapults, it's probably going to come off a bit worse for wares. But six LOM 15s, imagine this thing running around with a raven as a spotter. Just. You know, this thing ducks behind some cover and starts lobbing LOMs over the hill. And of course there's other versions with Gauss rifles and PPCs and tons of large lasers. But it is just obscene the amount of firepower this thing brings to the table. So yeah, that is no cat that is going towards the other half's forces. Conifer will be adding that to her ghost bears, I believe. And finally from this box is the big boy, the Masakari or the Warhawk, depending on whether you're clan or in a sphere. I can never remember which way round it goes, whether it's, you know, clan is Warhawk or Masakari, but this thing is another beast. Um, it's slow, it's ponderous, it's heavily armed, and it's heavily armoured because it is an assault mech. Um, and it just, you know, wobbles across the battlefield with... Four great big stinking guns and blasts anything that comes near it. And it is a real beast. Um, I've not played with one, but I've played against one back in the day. Um, and it just it just kept on coming. It just would not die. And as always, there's a bajillion variants that come with this thing because it is a clan omni mech. Um, and let's bring that round for you guys to have a look at the back. And the sculpt, as always, is outstanding. Look at all them vents and stuff on the back of that thing. That is a really nice model. The Catalyst really have gone all out with their mechs for the Clan Invasion Kickstarter. I mean, they, every single mech that they've touched for this has had a massive glow up. I mean, I, I remember playing with like, some of the metal models. A bit janky looking back in the day. Um, or really awkward to build. That was another problem. Sometimes you get little metal models and you'd get it together and then it'd fall apart. Um, or it, it would, you know, it'd just be impossible to pose it the way you wanted it. Um, but these new Catalyst models, even if you want to repose it, it is just a case of taking a scalpel to it, cutting the arm off and adjusting it a little bit. Um, they really are amazing. And I'm really thankful to Catalyst for bringing them along. So yeah, my thoughts on this start is it is a really nice start. Lots of long range fire. Um, it is a, it is definitely a fire support stick on the other side of the map type of star. Um, there is so much going on here. It would, you probably wouldn't play the entire star in a single game unless you were doing something silly like 15,000 battle value. Um, but it is a really nice, really, really nice star with 
lots of long range firepower, a couple of big boys to really beat the enemy and just t soak up all their fire. And a like three little guys are going to run around like crazy, blasting the guys from the rear because they've all got super, really nice loadouts. They've all got really nice loadouts. There's no real, you know, lemon amongst them. There's nothing that I'm going to be like, oh, I don't want to take that. It's a bit crap. Um, you know, they've all got their niches. You've got the Dasher that just sprints about like crazy, dropping off elementals right where the enemy doesn't want them. And you've got like the Cougar and the Kit Fox just blasting people from across the map. Um, and then you've got like, you know, four out of five of these mechs have got some loadout loaded down with LOM 15s, at least two on each one. You know, it, it's, it's just obscene the amount of missiles these guys can carry if they want to. So yeah, that is my unboxing and review of the Clan Firestar. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, let me know in the comments below what you think of the mechs. Uh, if you have these, what are you guys painting them up as? Other than that, you have a most excellent day, and I will see you guys in the next video, okay? Take care. ta -ra.